Thoreau Aurora is the co-worker of uh, Dr. Jane Nutskin, and another worker, co-worker, Nicole Miss Kelly, is the uh, registered dental hygienist, and Nicole is going to be our model today for doc what Dr. Rowe would like to, to show us. So without further ado, please. Thanks, Marty. I appreciate you for mm -hmm. having You're us. You're going to talk about the cancer screen yep. thing. Very so good. one of the biggest concerns we have in dentistry is detecting things early. With the technology that we have now that's uh, advanced in the last 10 to 15 years, we're able to detect a lot of things early, cavities, cancer. Um, and intraoral cancer has become probably one of the deadliest cancers right up there with breast cancer, prostate cancer, and cervical cancer. Um, by the time you get to your dentist and we see it in your mouth, uh, the problem is that it may be too late. So what we try to do is use the technology to try to detect the cancer when it starts early. And one of the instruments that we have here at the office is actually called the Trimera 3000. This instrument actually will detect the cancer at a cellular level and it will detect it before it's too late. I'm going to kind of show you how it works. It use, utilizes three lights and those three lights will show us any abnormalities or changes uh, in the patient's tissue. So I'm going to use Nicole here as an example. And pretty much all we do, this harmless light, I'm going to turn this off, this harmless light, we will check all tissues, the lips, the cheeks, the tongue. If we're able to detect something at this point, we'll have the patient head over to the oral surgeon and that increases the survival rate by up to 90 percent and that's, so that that's a big deal. Very helpful. Yeah, it's a big deal. It's mm -hmm. definitely a huge help. Um, one of the other tools that we have um, is called the Diagnodent. Now the Diagnodent is for cavity detection, early cavity detection, mm -hmm. and it also utilizes technology that's been around for the last uh, five to ten years. And what we do with this, it uses an, a harmless light and I'm going to use again Nicole as an example, but Nicole has pretty teeth, so I don't think we're going to find many cavities with her. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is we just run this little pen over the tops of her teeth, and if it beeps, and in Nicole's case it's not beeping because she doesn't have any cavities. Amazing. <laughs> yeah. It lets us know that there's the start of a small cavity. The earlier we can detect the cavity, the greater advantage it is to us and the patient. Uh, if we detect the cavity earlier, um, it's going to make the cavity filling less painless. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of times we don't even have to anesthetize or numb up the patient. And Just catch uh, it early. Yeah, huh? we catch it early. And the smaller that the cavity is, the earlier we catch it, it's going to be less expensive for the mm -hmm. patient. So that's a huge advantage also. Um, and finally, the last tool I wanted to show you was the intraoral camera. Now the intraoral camera is something that Nicole uses on a daily basis, something that the doctors use on a daily basis, and it essentially allows us to blow up the teeth on the screen and take mm -hmm. a closer look. Yeah, I'm uh, watching on the screen. Yeah. And so uh, in Nicole's case, again, I don't think we're going to find much, but the camera. But you never know. Yeah. So you can see Nicole's one tooth that she actually had a filling on. We can see the, the tooth a lot closer. Mm -hmm. In a case where a patient may have a silver filling that's breaking down or chipped or decaying, this allows us to catch it a lot faster. Yeah. And again, we can try to save the tooth before it's too late, before the before tooth gets infected. Before it gets way down. Yes, yeah. before yeah. The, the nerve gets infected, before it may need a crown. And uh, that's the biggest advantage to having all this technology. I know technology. a lot of seniors, you know, where we wear glasses and we're not tuned in to looking for cavity lines or this type of thing. But I can see where it would be oh so helpful to Definitely. have a heads up on that. Definitely. Um, and just simply by coming in for a check. -up. Absolutely. Imagine blowing your teeth up onto a jumbo screen. I can't. Yeah, that's really so something you can. Um, I need something. <laughs> so it's stuff. Kind of like I've threading a needle. For sure. For mm -hmm. sure. Dr. Niskin, I'd like you 
thank you for taking the time with us. I know there was a couple other things that you wanted to mention about electric toothbrushes. Well, well, really, the bottom line in terms of saving money at a dentist, the best thing that you can do to save money is to keep your teeth really, really clean. That will prevent the gum disease and prevent cavities. And the research shows that an electric toothbrush will clean your teeth much better, significantly better, than a manual toothbrush. And we have these electric toothbrushes that work extremely well. And what we're doing now is we're offering the first 15 listeners who call the office, mm -hmm. we'll just give them one of these electric toothbrushes. Wow, is that ever nice. Well, what a nice thing to do. Thank you. And those being the Oral-B uh, toothbrushes. Mm -hmm. And uh, just say you saw it on Prime Divers and you're all set. Or if you already have a brush, Dr. Sen, he'd be glad to give you a bottle of Listerine. A big bottle a of Listerine. A big bottle. We're really interested in keeping all these teeth clean. And I want to again thank uh, uh, Dr. Aurora. And I'd like to thank Nicole Miss Kelly, uh, our registered dental hygienist, uh, for making all these things happen today. Uh, it's important that seniors take care of their teeth. Um, you know, everybody's all oh, brush a brush of, you know, with the kids. Seniors got to take good care too, don't they? They should do. Yeah. They should do. And hopefully this will help. Well, I'll tell you what. Um, we're located at Five Mile in Farmington. We're at 33428 Five Mile Road. And uh, you can get one of those brochures on how to pick a, a dentist. And if you want to call ahead and... Uh, Make sure you got the right directions. One seven three four four two seven seven five five five. Dr. Nitzkin, thank you for being with us. You're welcome. And we'll see you next time on the Prime Timers. <laughs>